It's the paternity test results. I mean, let me open it. Wait, wait. Oscar, what's wrong? Don't you want to know if Drew Kane is your father? I saw him on the footbridge last night. Did you guys talk? Not really. I mean, just, you know, stuff you would say to any stranger. Which, let's face it, is probably what he is. There's a way to know for sure, and all we have to do is click on the test results. Would you be mad if I wanted to delete them instead? You want to delete the paternity test? I'm sorry. I'll pay you back. Forget it. That's, um... That's not the problem. Oscar, I thought you wanted to find your father. Maybe I don't want to know. Why not? Because of my mom. Hey, she's gone my whole life without telling me about my father. Maybe there's a reason for that. I mean, we ran that paternity test behind my mom's back. It's kind of a violation of her privacy. I'm pretty sure you have a legal right to know who your father is. I don't know. I just feel like I should give her one more chance to tell me. Or to explain to me why she doesn't think I need to know. Thank you for the info. Mom! What are you doing here? Why don't you tell me what you're doing here? Hey, come on. I don't understand what's going on here. We had an agreement. You were not supposed to leave the house after dark unless you had my permission, and I did not give you permission to be here. I know. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Are you sorry you got caught? Or sorry that you did it? Every time you break the rules, you limit your own options. You get to go to fewer places and do fewer things. Because I can't trust you to make good choices without supervision. Please, Mrs. Corinthos, this, this is not Jocelyn's fault. OK, it's mine. Uh, Jocelyn and I were doing our homework at your house, and I got this email. And I, I really wanted to talk to my mom about it, so I asked Jocelyn to come with me. I should have texted you or called to ask for permission before I left the house. Yeah, you okay? should have. I know that. Mm -hmm. If you want, I'll go straight home. But, Mom, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me stay, just in case Oscar needs me. You got one hour. Thank you. And no matter what, your part in this mystery research project is over tonight. Do you understand that, Oscar? After this, you're on your own. Uh, yeah, I understand. Thank you, Mrs. Krentos. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mom. Okay, let's go. Go. One of the nurses said my mom already left. Okay. What do you want to do now? I don't know. I mean, you heard your mom. I mean, she won't let you help me anymore. But we have to find out if Drew is my father tonight. Okay. Um. Well, you don't need me. I. Can just forward you the test results. You can open them whenever you want, or just delete them, like you said. No, I have to find out if he's my father, and I want you with me. You want to do this now? No, I'm not. Not here. Let's find some place quiet. 